Hey, Brad Clark here from Ranking Dojo. This is a intro video to kind of processing the data for anyone who wants to try to do the Master Blend Cycles and Motion Builder uh, tutorial from Jonathan Cooper. It's an awesome tutorial. It does a great job of breaking down how to get a good run cycle out of the uh, motion capture. But the sample file that comes with it has a quite a few quirks in it and um, the FBX file is pretty old now so it doesn't just load into Blender. So I've got it processed into here but it has a couple issues and this is going to cover a couple things that people need to do anyway in Blender which is how to translate uh, root data or object uh, level animation. If you grab this character you can see that a lot of the overall motion is happening on the root of the character but on the root of the object of the armature, not any of the bones. So the first thing we're going to do is create an empty. I'm going to add empty and then I'm going to go to the constraint tab and set up a constraint to copy transforms. So we're going to bring that up 100% and then I'm going to uh, check that it's following, which it is, and then we're going to hit F3 and do bake action. You can also go to object animation bake action. We need uh, visual keying on. Without this, the, key, the bake will not process the animation from the constraint correctly. It'll just sit there at the origin. Clear constraints will just remove this for us automatically. Overwrite the current action. Um, make sure that we don't add extra animations hidden in the scene for now. And I'm going to hit OK. It's going to take a second to bake. And now you can see we've got it following along. So the next thing we need to do is grab the animation on the root node at the object level and go ahead and clear it. Delete keyframes and I'm going to hit backspace here and backspace here to zero it. Okay, so we've got our character and we have our transfer empty sitting here with our existing animation on here. And now you can see the character just sitting at the origin with no animation on it. So to make sure that we process this next, we'll go ahead and file, save, run, convert, okay. So we're going to go ahead and jump down into pose mode, and then I'm going to go grab the hip, and we can do that. The spine also in this particular character, if we look at the spine, the spine and the hips are two separate objects. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, check the spine for animation, and it doesn't have any. So we're going to add a bone constraint and make it a child of, and pick the target as our armature, and then do uh, hips. Okay, so now you can see that it's rotated and flipped, so we hit set inverse to keep the original offset. And now when we grab the hips and move them, the whole character moves. If we were to look at the spine and bring the influence to zero, you can see when we move the hips around, nothing follows. So. We need to basically rig this character up so that when we transfer the animation from the um, transfer null we baked, that it all goes together. Okay, so now we need to grab the hips, and now we're going to do a uh, copy transforms, and go ahead and pick root empty. Okay, so now we should hit play again and see that we have everything working as expected. Okay. So now all we need to do is bake the hip joint. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that's the only one I have selected. Hips. And then now in pose mode, we have a slightly different bake. And um, we go to animation, bake action. It's going to be set to pose, override current action, same same settings, and hit OK.
Okay, so now we've transferred and removed the root motion from the object level and reset the armature's object to 0, 0, 0. And we've transferred the animation back onto the, the hips of this character. We've left the spine um, animation on here. And if we were to turn this influence to zero, you'll see that it's going to stay at the origin because it's no longer moving correctly. So the other thing we can do here, because I don't want to leave this on, I'm going to go ahead and bake it as well. Bake. So now both parts of this character have been baked, and we we could have baked both of them together, but I just want to make clear that for this particular skeleton, it's got a two-stage hierarchy. The reason I don't want to do this is because the way I'm going to edit this animation and work on this character rig, I'm going to use the rig on the fly tool, and it's got a really nice reparent feature. So. Um, I'm going to go into this more later, but I'm just going to show you real quick. So, go jump back to object mode, make sure I only have the armature selected, and I'm going to get the rig on the fly tool, and hit rig skeleton. It's going to take a second, it's going to convert all the bones to riggable controls, and transfer the animation over. Okay, so now that all the controls have been put over onto the rig, we can scrub the animation and see that the same animation exists on the rig. I'm going to hit select on all the controls and use the settings controller size. We can hide this for now, and we can hide the layer settings, but we can shrink the controls down to manageable sizes. And the last thing we're going to do is go ahead and look here for a second. So this is still separated which is not what we want, so we're going to grab the spine rig and grab the hips and use the tools built in here under space switch parent space and we're going to say parent and this is going to, to re-space the spine joint under the hips so now we've created our own rig here that is ready to edit and start working on the um, Motion Blend Motion Builders tutorial. I'm going to share this file up later just so that anyone else who wants this file can work with it and um, you'll be able to link that from the video. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. I've got more training to go over on how to actually use the Blender NLA to you do this tutorial from Jonathan, but I just wanted to give a shout out to the Brig on the Fly tool and um, showcase it a little bit and also go through how to zero an object animation and move it to the root of the character so that you can use the NLA and work at the armature level and not be stuck having animation split between object mode and pose mode. Alright, that's it.